Jesus, son of God, Lord, follow the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
That sound good, don't they? They sound good this morning. Give me a hand clap of praise. Now I'm up here to remind you to give to your church. Just search your mind. Think about what God has done for you. And then contribute to the church. Give your offering to the church. So we just say thank you Jesus and let's give him praise this morning. Let's go to him in prayer. Father God we'd like to thank you this morning given us what you have given us. Even if we messed it up, you still gave it to us. We can complain about a few things, but cannot forget what you have given us. There are some of us that have been blessed with what you gave us. We saved it. We even hear a little bit of it. But then there's others who saved it and then messed over it. But there's one thing that we should never mess up is the part that we give to you. So bless those that have it to give. Bless those who have it not. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
rather be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where.
Good morning, church. We thank God for another chance to worship him. It's all about worshiping God. Never miss a chance to worship him. This is the day the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. If we have any first time visitors this year, would you please stand? First time visitors this year, would you please stand? Hey, Kevin, what is it? What a nice looking woman you got there. Bless your heart. Good to see you, Kevin, and Mrs. Thank you for taking time from selling cars to come to church. <laughs> Who's your buddy sitting? Who's your friend sitting next to you? Oh, Colonel Arrington. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You may be seated. It's good to have you, my brother. I thank God for this church and how you have been so kind to one another and so wonderful to me. We thank God for allowing us to be able to worship one more time. Welcome home, Deacon. He looks nice today. He's all, that tie he's got on his. Deacon Dan, you look sharp today, my brother. Welcome home, Deaconess Daniel. We missed you. Samuel O'Neill Daniel. Thank you for coming back. Amen. Be it ever so humble. No place like home. My sisters and my brothers, uh, you too, sister. Well, sister uh, John Harris, his favorite daughters back home. Bless your heart. The virus is still with us. Even the president has the virus. Lord, have mercy. President of the United States. He has a physician with him 24 7, and even he has the virus. So please, please continue to mask up. And um, if you have not had your shots, get your shots. Do the right thing. Wear a mask. Uh, I want to encourage those of you who have not already attend the Monday, Tuesday evening Bible studies. Um, I thought I'd try one on Monday. See what Reverend Harris had to say. I had a good time. And they really know how to do that thing on Monday night. And God bless you, my brother. 
Howard Lee did all the talking. But join them sometime on Monday or Tuesday night Bible study. They do a fantastic job of teaching. Special thanks to Mr. Downing. She did a great job last Sunday. Yeah, thank you, Minister Downing, for what you did for us last Sunday. JC, I got one for you. I got one for you. Ready? Man died and went to heaven. And when he got to heaven, he was carrying his cross. And he laid it beside the door. And the archangel told him, Look around the room. Pick up any one you want. For eternity, whatever one you want, you can pick it up and carry it. The brother said, oh, this is great. I can pick up any one. He said, any one you want. The man looked around the room. Saw a cross that he liked, lifted it up. He says, I'll take this one. He was so happy. He turned around and walked away. The angel that was standing next to the archangel said, That's the one he came in here with. So no matter how heavy you think the, your load is, it's not as heavy as some others are. <laughs> Colonel Arrington, there is a word from the Lord. We thank God for another chance. Say a word, never know when it's going to be your last chance. Our lesson comes from Luke, the 15th chapter, 13 to 21. 15th chapter, 13 to 21, and then skip over to 24. Uh, welcome home, Sister Hill. Crystal Renee. This is a very familiar lesson. What I'm doing now is using the lessons I used when I first came here 30 some years ago. They're just as good today as it was back in. And so, Kevin, for the next two and a half hours, I'd like to hear, why'd your wife look at me like that? <laughs> I'd like to use for a subject, lost and found. Lost and found. I try to use subjects that you can remember and that you will tell your neighbor. Sometimes folks don't remember the subject when they get out the door. At least remember the scripture and the subject. When you get home, someone may ask you, what did the preacher say today? Well, I don't know. But 
the choir sounded good. Choir did sound good today, didn't they? Didn't it sound good? It sound good. I don't know where Deacon Only gets these choirs from, but I thank you, Deacon Only, for bringing them in, the old first missionary. I like to use for a subject today: lost and found. Lost and found. I remember when I came here over 30 years ago, I preached a sermon. Not here, but at 141 West All Saints Street. How many of you were at 141 West All Saints Street? Raise your hand. How many? Amen. Amen. Oh, okay, back here. Those were the days. Yeah. Had to park across the street from Tilly. Lord have mercy. Father had two sons. Reverend Campbell, the father, and the story had. Two sons. No two sons are alike. They are different. My mother had five boys. Tell Sister Graham that every now and then. Two sons and one was unlike the other. One was like a stay-at-home guy. Mama's baby. Daddy's baby. Stay at home, fellow. The other guy was like J.C. Farabee. Ran the streets. He wanted to see the world. This other fellow wanted to see the world. Wanted to see the world. He said, Daddy, I'm, I'm ready to go and see the world, Daddy. I understand you have me in your will. Give me what you have for me. I can't wait to get it. Fathers have something called wisdom. You may not think so now. I say this to young people all the time. Your daddy is dumb as you think he is. He know where you've been drinking. One fellow, he says, he says, uh, I want, I want to. See the world. Give me what you're going to give to me now. I can't wait. Fathers have wisdom. Fathers, I know what this brother's going to do. He's going to mess up this money. Father gave it to him. And the young man did exactly what the father knew he would do. 
he went to Baltimore. That was his first mistake. <laughs> he didn't have any he didn't have any friends when he went to Baltimore, but when he got there he got a whole lot of friends. Your friends will help you spend your money. He made friends and they helped him spend his money. And once he has spent all of his money, he lost all of his friends. Lord have mercy. Be careful who you make your friend. I call Colonel Arrington my friend. He, he's also my neighbor. He's also my member. Be careful who you call friend. As I told you before, that he was a young man out in the world for the first time. Did some foolish things. Spent all of his money. Bought the lady's shoes like Reverend Owens has on. Bought the lady's clothes. He partied hardy down on Pennsylvania Avenue. in the city of Baltimore. But money don't last always. The more he spent, the less he had. And the more he spent, the less friends he had. Be careful. Who you call friend? Here we are. Here we are. This young man who God has blessed to be the family that loved him, took good care of him. Now he finds himself out in the world without a dime in his pocket. I told you as long as he had money. I told you as long as he had money, he had friends. I told you as long as he had money, he had a place to stay. I told you, as long as he had money, he had food to eat. Shoes on his feet. But money don't last always. Do I have a weakness in here? Money don't last always. And when the money ran out, so did the friends. My subject is lost and found. The young man now is lost. When you don't have a place to stay, when you don't have friends, when you don't have a roof over your head, you lost. Here we are. Here we are, this young man. Finds himself lost without family, without friends, with 
our loved ones. He didn't have a church family. Lord have mercy. Evan Campbell, he didn't have a church family to run to. He was lost. He now finds himself in a situation where as he has no food to eat, clothes to wear, his clothes has gotten ragged by now, and all of those friends left him. But the one thing that he did remember I'm talking to some young folk in here. But one thing he he remembered, I can always go home. I had a brother, his name was Rabbit. They call him Rabbit. Rabbit loved liquor, and liquor loved him. And whenever Rabbit got to the point where he couldn't find his way home, the, the brothers around in the block took him home because they knew that he could always come home. And I said to my mother one time, I said, I said Mom, I said, why in the world you put up with him? Why you put up with him, Mom? Don't you know he's an alcoholic? Just spend his money? Why are you putting up with him? She looked at me, she says, you didn't have him. You didn't have him. It's something being a mother, a father that's different. Do I have a weakness in here? <laughs> Brother Man now finds himself in a situation where as he is no longer able to c call on anybody because all of his money, all his clothes, Everything is gone. But he remembered that he did have a daddy. Decided to go home. Two things I want you to remember about this scripture. If you check it out. Yeah, you'll see that. It says, while he was still far away off. In my right arm. He, was, he wasn't anywhere near the house. Harper, he was nowhere near the house, but, but a far way off. Daddy saw him. He said, that's my boy. That's my boy. I can tell how he walks. I can tell how he holds his head. That's my boy. That's number one. A father knows his boy. A father knows his children. That's I want you to remember that. Crystal Renee came home the other day. She got up on the porch. My mother already knew who it was. Mama knows her daughter. Second thing I want you to remember is this. He ran to him. I like that. I like that. He didn't wait for the boy to get up to the house. He ran to him. Put 
put his arms around him and kissed him. That's my boy. I don't care what you say about him. I don't care how you treated him. He's my boy. Put his arm around him and kissed him. The well-in-law family told the servants to prepare a meal for him. They get the best to him. See, we're going to sit down and party. It's party time. My boy once was lost, but now he's found. He's, he's home again. Some people who have never joined the church are still lost. I'm going somewhere with this. They never joined the church. They were still lost. One of these days, they're going to be found by the Holy Spirit. God will allow them to come and join somebody's church, give their life to Christ. last thing I want to say is this. Never miss a chance to be a part of a worship experience. Somebody will care for you if you come to God's church. The one thing I like, I love about this church is how we care about people in the community. Praise the Lord. Feed the hungry. I remember when the men fed, not only not fed, but gave clothes to a man who came to our church. That Y'all remember that? Deacon Daniel went home and got a pair of shoes. He's only got two pair. Gave the brother a pair of shoes. But the thing about it is that you have to remember there's always someone who's worse off than you are. The man in this story had a party. That's part one. There is a part two. <laughs> go to one of the one, go to one of the classes at the, in the evening. Maybe one of the preachers will teach the part two of that story. But I just want you to know that the brother is now found. God has blessed him. He was lost. But he's found a home back at home. And God has blessed him. Let the church say amen. Amen. Everybody needs a home. Let us all stand. Everybody needs a pastor. Everybody needs a friend. Everybody needs a church. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Everybody in here has been blessed this morning. How do I know? Because I see you. You've been blessed already.
You already been blessed. Just because you woke up this morning. But the second part of that is that you're in your right mind. Do you know some people woke up this morning crazy? But God has blessed you. So I'm going to extend the invitation to some man, woman, boy, or girl. Maybe we're looking for a church home. We ask that you come down the aisle. Give these men your hand. The choir sing this song just for you. The title of the song is Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. thank God for the fact that God has allowed us to come to Old First Missionary one more time. We've come to worship, but now we leave to serve. And now may the grace to love, the peace, and the joy our Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. May the rest rule and abound with each one of us. Now and henceforth and forevermore. And those who love the Lord sang.